Okay, in this video we are going to see how to speed up our test workflow using GOP.js, okay? First thing we are going to do is uh, prepare a cake PHP 3 project using the official skeleton. For that uh, we need to copy this line and run in the terminal. Okay, we are going to create a new folder, clean cake. And now we are going to wait a bit to let Composer download all the dependencies, okay? Kick PHP, carbon for the dates. Okay. And that's all. Okay, we are, we are going to maintain the Git repository. And <clears throat> Now, once we have set up the project, we're going to to test the PHP unit behavior, okay, not X to execute. For, uh, <coughs> for this video, I prepare a gist in GitHub with all the files I'm going to use. So we are going to prepare a custom folder in test and a, and a PHP file. Okay. Demo test PHP. Now we get the content from the gist. Okay, demo test. After that, we are going to check that PHP unit is working. Okay, true. And if I change the values, it fails, okay? Okay. Now we are going to set up call, yes. Uh, the, first, the first thing we need to do is prepare a package JSON, okay, to declare our Node.js dependencies. In this case, gulp, gulp notif notify and gulp sub okay once we have this file we run npm install and we get all the dependencies okay if we try to run gulp now oh there's no file no, there's no good gulp file now so we are going to create it Galfile.js and we get the content for the gist. Okay. Copy. <clears throat> okay, that's all. Uh, if we run Galp, uh, Galp, now Galp, watch some folders in our in our cakephp app. And if we change, after we save the file, okay, the tests are launched automatically. In this case, I have uh, notifications, okay, go, 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 it's all right, and that's all.